Happy Sunday afternoon, all you wonderful people. Nearly 300 subscribers. Thank you very much. Just keep up the good efforts. Um, I don't know why we put these milestones because we don't really get paid for anything until we hit about a thousand subscribers, but I want to say thank you for all 300 of you. We'll probably be going live in about a few moments here until we hit that 300. But while we came here, doesn't that look beautiful? Make it higher. Oh. <laughs> Got some construction going on. We're getting a whole new front entrance. And it's starting to shape up nicely. This is uh, a new one. Work walls. And if you notice, <coughs> when we last left Iron Gwazi, we only had a 30 minute wait. Now it's 15. Now it's 15. Saturday afternoon. It's Sunday. Sunday, yeah, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Saturday is our kryptonite. So we have a 245 on our wrap sheet. So let me get the wrap sheet here. Yeah, see, 245. And up the ramp we go again. Alright. See right over there? That's one of the haunted houses. And then look over there. We have the stream and stream way over there. Like a Bronco ride. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we got some clouds coming in, so we probably might get some rain soon, guys. So it, intense, so intense. And you saw that airtime. How much time I was floating? The whole ride. So we just got off of Iron Gwazi and this family here just had their second run. Was it? 
How'd you? This is my first run. Your oh, your first run. Yeah. Okay. Question for you. How was it? It was exciting. Exciting. Yeah. This is the most roller coasters I've been on in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We got here at Open and she's been on a mission every single one of them. Every so single one of them. And my favorite roller coaster is Sheikra. Sheikra? That's my favorite too. Well, this and Iron Gwazi, Sheikra and Iron Gwazi both tie my first. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Too bad it's not running today. Yeah. Which was your favorite part of Iron Gwazi? The first drop? That is some intense drop, isn't it? I went up at, like, above my head because it wasn't fully on my legs. Yeah. Now we got to close a lot. And did you like it for your second time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite part? Uh, all of it? Pretty much all of it? Yeah, I like all of it too. Well, thank you very much, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bush yeah. Garden Junkie, we'll and uh, we'll probably have this video up in the next day or two. We'll Looks like they may have expanded the work walls. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, well, let's see if we can see if we can get a peek behind there. There's definitely... There is definitely construction. Uh, you can't really see it that well. But they're definitely working on it. Ooh. Okay, guys. That's enough of a sneak peek. You're going to have to wait till Hollow Scream to see the rest of it. No more sneak peeks. <laughs> And don't forget, Hollow Scream starts on September 8th, 9th, and runs all the way through Halloween. Just outside of Cobra's Curse, they used to have a little thing with water here, so you can do your thing, but they now put a tent up there. We just came out of orange, so they're probably currently in yellow. And we're on train number five. And we are on our way.
and we ended up backwards. All right, that was some good spinach on that one. And they're gonna do a total 360. Hi. We actually, uh, it's like 4.30, I don't know what time it is, somewhere around there. And uh, we just got on to Montu. So we can take a look at the parking lot, which still looks pretty packed. But, um, well, that parking lot doesn't look too bad. It, it, it's still, it's still packed. But there are some people leaving. We actually just came out of orange, which means that there was lightning somewhere around here close by. So we just came out of orange, we're back in the yellow, and we're riding the rides! Uh, there we go. Another good view before it. Oh, whoa! Uh, and that was Montu. Yes. Trying to hold the camera while going around there. There we go. Glad to see that. Now we're coming into Penguin Point. Well, what's normally known as Penguin Point. And we have all these nice, colorful spookiness. Okay. Wow, they're really getting into it. What are these things? Leopards. Leopards? No. Cheetahs? Cheetah spots? Okay. Well, we do have blue lights. Or black lights, whatever you want to call them. So these must definitely light up when it comes to black lighting. That should be interesting. Scare actor will be there. Yeah, all this stuff looks like that will light up like a Christmas tree with the black lighting. What do we got here? What? Hollow Scream. Yeah, Hollow Scream starts September 9th. Why are we going September 8th? We're going October 8th. Oh, October 8th, okay. Yeah, she's confused. <laughs> Looks like a spot maybe for a scare actor. Place for a scare actor to hide. Ooh, I made it through. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they are definitely transforming this area. And 
and uh, that is new. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Wonder what that may be for. And uh, of course, tuxedo birds. They're dressed for any occasion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and more stuff. We're still looking for bodies. So, if you have a body and you're willing to scare people, you can come right here to Bush Gardens and scare the mess out of people. We're getting ready to hop on the Serengeti train. Squirrel! <laughs> Hi. Hi there. How you doing? Did I scare you? As I was saying. Yeah, what was I saying? We are on the Serengeti train. <laughs> Wonder how much of this I'm gonna actually keep in. We're having a fun time here at Birch Gardens. It is our happy place. Uh, and we're gonna go on the train because sure. stop it <laughs> because see what i have to deal with because of project jethro project 2023 or also known as the sns screaming You haven't had any beer yet, have you? Uh -uh. Okay. I haven't had any beer. I don't know what she's crazy for. <laughs> but it's going to be the SNS screaming swing, not the slingshot. Oh. Uh -uh. We're going to get some good views of it, I hope. It is back that way behind the camera. And it's in the old area where the, uh, uh, well, it's in the area where the old Rhino Rally ride used to be. So, um, from Iraguazi, you can see the two poles coming up. And uh, hopefully when we come around uh, this corner here, before we get to that corner, and come back into this train station, we can see what's going on over there. The train is gonna be coming here any moment now tribes of Africa for their milk, not their meat. The wealth of the farmer is determined by the number of live animals in the herd. On the right, the watch is the cattle. Look to your left, guys. Hey, you see a little bit of uh, Project Jethro back there, guys. Right next to the fence, back to our left. With her back to the fence. She's got humongous horns extending several feet out, perhaps, from her head. If you saw her. That was a Watutsi or Ankoli cow. Now as we enter the Serengeti, we could see wildlife ahead. Some of you are looking at back to the right and you're catching a glimpse of something new here at Bush Gardens. Although I don't have any official, list, uh, no official announcements about that. No other, I don't see anything. Please. Well, some of you are very curious and I am too. Project I don't have the inside scoop. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure some of you are excited about the, the developments that you see. Oh yeah, things are looking up. <laughs> yeah, you got a glimpse well, of Project Jethro, guys. Scheduled to open in 2023. It is an SNS streaming swing. It's going to be identical to the one at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Staying near the vehicle, especially with antelope with uh, mighty horns nearby. Oh, he's throwing food to the swan. 
and I'm, he might be feeding other birds out here. Now you see all lots of birds converging on him because they know he has food, right? So they're trying to pick up some of the food he's intending for certain birds like this one. And back to the left, you saw those gorgeous large brown antelope with uh, long curving horns shaped like the ancient fighting sword, the scimitar. Those are sable antelope, sable antelope. And they're very alert to the presence of the zookeeper. They've got their heads up, they're looking that way. Also noticing the train going by, of course. Now up over the hills to the left, I see giraffe and antelope up high to the left. The huge tan antelope that you might notice up on the hills are eland antelope, the largest and slowest type of antelope on earth, the eland. Also to our left, you can see reticulated giraffe, the tallest land animal on earth. Alternately, you could walk through the edge of Africa or go up on the terrace, go up high at the Serengeti Overlook restaurant. Sometimes animals are within view of that restaurant and other vantage points not far from there. Now to the left, get ready to look for small tan antelope with white spots and white vertical body stripes. These will be Nyala antelope. Nyala. I think it's right around this corner, guys. We'll get another view. Oh, I see Nyala right near the dirt road. That walk that goes underneath. Oh, one of them, a couple of them are right underneath uh, Cheetah Hunt. Several of them are gathered next to the roller coaster, back to our left, by the dirt road. Those are Nyala antelope. In fact, those are adult female Nyala, and they're young. The young have been born here, back with ferns. There's no adult male in the area right now. Too many trees back in the way. way. There are elephants up the path from the Nairobi train station. Although I really haven't seen elephants much today. Perhaps they've wandered off yeah. into a back area, not far from not far from a pool that they can go into if they choose, I believe so. And they could also go to a back area at times. And and we have more well, folks. This Hello, day is not over. You've got plenty of time to enjoy Bush Gardens. But since the sun is going a bit behind the clouds, I'd like to share a couple quick thoughts with you. First, and we got Bubba and Big Jim right here. Uh, I can't tell which one's the closer one, I think. Oh, that looks like Jim. Jim is up front and Bubba's in the back. Hi, Jim. We are coming into another scare zone area. Uh, these decorations we've already seen. And uh, again, they left uh, us our getaway hearse. For when we die at Hollow Scream, we can get away in our hearse. I don't know, these are some kind of weird looking gates. <coughs> gates for the cemetery, I guess. And, uh, well, they need to cut down some of these trees so we can see some of this stuff. Had a pretty good view of it. 
from the train and look at her there she's gone vertical Oh, that's the best view that we got of it so far. So yeah, folks. Falcon Fury is still down. And they said they're down for essential maintenance. Still looks like the same thing. to look down here last year they had some uh, hollow scream stuff but nothing this year I think it had something to do with like clowns and I don't know some weird stuff so and over in that direction is supposed to be another haunted house back there but I don't see anything all set up for it yet I said uh, before, Beer Fest is scattered all throughout the park. Over here, as you're leaving Pantopia, they have uh, some beverages and uh, savory buffalo, buffalo cheddar popcorn. Ah, uh, that's got to be uh, hot and spicy, I bet. And over here by the Ubanga Banga bumper cars. Hey, I said in the last video, one of the bumper cars broke through the wall. But this area is also being transformed. You got a little booth here with some lighting on top. That's kind of scary. Whoa. And the lights are going all over the place over here. Oh, more lighting equipment. We're here at Chick fil A. And, well, of course, they're closed. It's Sunday. But right across from Chick-fil-A, we got some pirates trying to get the chicken. Looks kind of piratey themed. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Oh, it's... Oh, look at that. Huh? Look at those things, people. Ooh. are heads of giants. I matey. Okay, no. Let's get some rum. Arr. Yeah, this should be definitely interesting. Yep, coming into Stanleyville, we got a nice little breeze coming in. Oh. And for those who are wondering, nope, the sky ride is still closed. Well, folks, we got our ride on Shikra. And uh, before we rode Shikra, uh, the uh, weather condition was yellow. And uh, when we were on Shikra, as we came in, they just went to purple. Ah, they, they just totally blew over orange and red and went straight to purple. Wow. And uh, coming up to the top of the ramp here, 
looks like we got some more construction done on this building here. And yeah, that is that is thunder in the back there. Oh, uh, windmill. I guess we're gonna have some kind of Don Quixote story here. No, or Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yeah. Frankenstein had a windmill? Yeah. Uh, we'll find out how scary this is gonna be. A whole bunch of pumpkins. Some of them look like they're rotten. <laughs> Yeah, like that one and that one looks like they're rotting. Well, folks, I, I don't know what we're going to be able to do because uh, I definitely hear the thunder out there. <laughs> this storm just came out of nowhere. And uh, one more area. Filled with shadow people. And a visit to Bush Gardens wouldn't be a visit without seeing our pink chickens. Yes, they are really flamingos, but they are pink and they look like chickens. So that's why we call them pink chickens. There's thunder in the air. We're still under purple condition. And we are gonna call it a day because Everybody's looking looking at the radar, I don't see any way they're going to reopen the rides before they close. It is currently 7.10 and they close at 8. So 50 minutes for the weather to clear out, no, not going to happen tonight. So folks, uh, hopefully you enjoyed our little live stream earlier today. Uh, if you didn't miss it, it should be posted up for a video on demand. So you can check it out and uh thank you all you 300 and so far the last time i checked 303 subscribers uh, keep in mind we are just doing this for fun we're not doing this for money we're doing this for you have fun catch you on the next time